The chestnut tree is widespread, not only in North America, but also in Europe. There is a robust specimen standing next to the Sivarvány, or Rainbow, kindergarten in the town of Kistelek in southern Hungary. Its nuts ripen in autumn, and there is a great deal that can be done with them once they have popped out of their spiny burr. As a first step, the 25 members of the Munchkin group enthusiastically collected the chestnuts that had fallen from the tree. We used the nuts they had gathered to help the children develop their understanding of mathematical concepts first and foremost. We also set up a chestnut throwing competition in the yard. We measured who had managed to throw their chestnut the farthest and which group had the longest throws. We thus measured distance and gave them a sense of the opposites of long and short. And this activity, based on shared experiences, was also part of providing the children with emotional and community education. The chestnuts the children had collected were also used for a number of activities inside. One shared experience was making figures based on Kipkop, a little chestnut man from books and films that the children know well. Groups had a chance to work together during the activity, with the kindergarten teacher and aide also joining in. They drilled holes into the chestnuts. Not only did the children make Kipkop figures, but they also fashioned items for Kipkop's garden. This task developed their manual dexterity and formed part of their arts education. Chestnuts are good to make various objects with, and they are also good to eat. Making chestnut treats gave us an opportunity to talk about a healthy lifestyle. We also measured capacity, found out about weighing scales and measuring spoons in the process, and saw which glasses can hold more or less. During the project, the children counted and formed series day after day. A powerful aid in their developing the number concept was when we worked together to count autumn produce. They realized that five hazelnuts are the same as five apples, even though one is much smaller than the other. They also discovered a wide range of shapes while they were playing. Chestnuts and walnuts are round, but then so are beads, peppercorns, apples, and melons. Every shape has a large number of variations. There was movement involved in arranging the chestnuts in geometric shapes, as well as in doing gymnastics exercises with chestnuts, among other things. The children were inquisitive throughout the program. We frequently observed that they were completely focused and engrossed during the activities, and that they were working intensely. It became clear from their feedback that they had experienced the joy of creation in these activities. Thank you.